good seeing you. How are you? Thank you very much. Good to see you. So why do we like movies with that are like that have cannibalism in it? Why do we like them? Yeah, why do we like them? Um, I think that people are sort of drawn to watching things that are just bizarre, um, and maybe it helps them escape their own weirdness. <laughs> maybe, hopefully, hopefully that's why. I, I think, think we so. all feel a little bit odd, and I think we all have our own weird oddness. And to watch something that is completely, really way more bizarre than we are maybe makes us feel a little better. I don't know. But when I saw in the film, when you see little crackers with the little pieces of, of human on there, it kind of it, it makes a tense no, moment. No, there's no cracker. That's just, oh. I don't remember any cracker. Oh, okay. No, that was just meat. Oh, that, that was, was meat just too. human flesh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was just thinking maybe I should add crackers to it, I guess. You're trying to soften the blow. I no, was. there's no. No, that was just flesh. <laughs> of all the films and things that you've done, what does Sean bring to the table as a director, actor? Oh, gosh. Um, Sean is one of the, my most favorite directors that I've a ever acted under um, because he he just made it um, he made it fun, but he got the job done and he, he made it where uh, we wanted to give him what it was that he was looking for. He's really professional and he had the whole set running like a well-oiled machine, but in a fun way. He kept it really fun, and and he. Just was, he had it so dialed in. You could tell he really did his homework on the script as a director, but he also was able to pull out of us the performance that he wanted without telling us what to do, you know, and giving us line readings. He just sort of coaxed it out of us in a, in a really magical way, and it was great. Very cool, very cool. So how did you get involved in the film? And also when you got involved, like, what did you expect it was going to be, and was it, was it a lot different after you got there? You know, like, you know how it kind of goes. I never really have any expectations. I, I, um, I auditioned. I auditioned for the part. A lot of times I'm given offers. This one I auditioned for um, because I read it. I was sent the material. I read the part, and it was just so polar opposite from anything else that I've ever done um, before. Um, and I wanted this kind of opportunity to play a character like this that's not a pretty character and not a nice character, something that's more of a character actor type role. And I jumped at the chance, so I auditioned for it. And when I got the offer, I was so thrilled because I've always wanted to do something like this. And um, I just, I wanted to, to do something completely different uh, where people would watch it and not, and I would be unrecognizable in the film. And that's kind of the feedback I've been getting is that I'm unrecognizable in the film, and I like that. I, I take that as a compliment.